Hello. Yes, why the zebra? Why would you walk the zebra? So how is everybody doing? Been telling some dad jokes in the chat, which always appreciate it for a good laugh. Hopefully it sounds coming out okay. Yeah, I just I don't know, need to do some mixing and I was like, why not do a live while while I do this? Hang out with some good folks. And I'm going to do some shout outs. We got uh, Brian Enoch, Mrs. Clownette, and the user abuser. Thanks, guys, for, for joining me. Oh, shit. MN316 jumping in. What's up, dude? The majestic beard. Yes, the majestic beard. Oh, man. I am still waking up. I'm not going to lie, guys. Kind of what happens when you have a, a night job instead of working like a normal human being. Let me see. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. Yes, dear. I could smile more. I could. I could. I'm not sure. Oh, really? It's kind of scraggly all over the place right here. <laughs> Beard game is on point. Hey, uh, MN316, I forgot what, uh, nicotine milligram did you want that juice, man? Let me know. And, uh, have any of you folks out there tried any DIYing before? Making your own juice or anything like that of the sorts. Hopefully y'all can hear me. I don't know. Probably should just be yelling the whole time. That one of those weird ones where I can't really hear myself. So I don't know if I'm actually sounding good or not. Thank you, user abuser. That user abuser. I like stumble through that. It's weird. I like, I never really, when I talk, nobody ever really pointed it out to me until I moved to Texas that I'd mumble quite a bit. I think maybe it's just the way my accent works or some shit like that, but normally it just. I get a lot of, hey, you're mumbling, can you repeat that? The user, have you ever you DIY'd before?
this is like the the difference between doing a live and a pre-recorded video is a lot of this stuff I either edit faster or I uh, cut out. I've actually gotten better at it to where it looks a little seamless without it being too noticeable. I try to make it look as in one take because jump cuts do get on my nerves after a bit. Yeah. I've actually gotten that my super cereal is more like unicorn milk from what the hell is that company? I don't know. But yeah, it's black or whatever that company's called. Uh, yeah, but I've gotten that as a as some feedback of one of the juices that I make. Bye. Ah, I couldn't even tell you, dude. Like, honestly, like, there's the six that I do on my site. But then after that, I kind of just look around, see what's new. <laughs> Bye. Uh... I just kind of try to see what what like flavorings there is, anything new that's come out. Like, what is it? Nicotine River and um, what is that other site? Uh, Wizard Labs. Is it Wizard Labs? Yeah, Wizard Labs. They uh, they both just got in this one. I think it's from Capella. It's uh, Apple Jacks, and I got that one in, along with a bunch of other like uh, like condensed milk and a bunch of things like that. And I'm trying out to make. Kind of like my own Applejack cereal type thing. Lately, I've been really trying out some cereals. Like after buying some bottles of Graham Slam, I was really into that. So I was wondering if I could maybe mix my own for my own personal purposes. And, you know, just, just something I'm playing around with at the moment. Hopefully I can get get it down to where I find it to where I enjoy it. No, I've never actually used Reddit recipes. I go to, uh, what is this? E-liquid-recipes.com. And even there, I like, I'll go through, like, any, like, uh, say it's a flavoring I haven't tried before. I'll look up the flavoring, and then they even have, like, suggestions on how you can mix it. Or um, they have suggestions, or what's that called? Um... Or you could actually, based on what like what flavoring you're looking up, like say um, this one is a cream fresh. You look that up. Damn son, you look that up, and you could actually go through the list of stuff that they have on there, and they'll actually they'll have whatever other people have used it for, and you could try to like get an idea of even just what level you need, like what percentage and things like that, which. Uh, personally, I use it for percentages, not really ideas on how to mix them. Because, per, like, I just feel like if you're gonna do some DIYing, try out your own recipes. You know, do something that might suit you, or just experiment with it a little bit. Hello, Enders. Enders, other game. How's the? Are you still on maternity leave or paternity leave? What's up, Mike's Mix Reviews, all the way from the UK. Uh, reasonable initial purchase cost to get into mixing for yourself. Uh, it just depends on what you're looking for. They do have... Um, awesome. Uh, they have, like, starter DIY kits. Also depends, because I know in Canada, you guys have... What is that company? I was trying to get some, some sweetener from there, but that damn uh um shipping cost is a bitch from canada to here and it was coming i think uh, from british columbia somewhere in british columbia and it's just 
it depends on what you're trying to accomplish if you just want to get started you could get a starter kit and i think those run from like 20 dollars up and i mean if you were to get even like three or four basic flavorings like the 10 mil bottles and then you get your pg or vg and you get like quarts of those which is, I mean, the quarts of a PG and a VG between the two of them, depending where you get them from, they're running you about like 20 bucks right there, like American. And then, um, what is it? The flavorings, depending on how many you get, if you get the little 10 mil bottles, those run about $2 American. So if you were to get like three of those for like a starter, like a start off, and you know how like, and you could try to make it work out for you, uh that's what like between the three of them that's six dollars you're running up to about 26 and some syringes put it at average like 30 dollars plus shipping but with that you can make yourself about uh i would like to say that is i would like to say about 600 maybe more than that 600 mils just depending on what your percentages and stuff is but I would have to actually run numbers on all that because it's been a while since I've actually had to think about it in that sense. I mean, like, if you actually were to break down your flavorings, your nicotine, because that's another one you got to get. And, like, personally, I like to get the... Uh, 100 milligrams per milliliter because it goes all it goes a long way i mean this i've had it for a bit and it'll go for it, it goes a long bit compared to if you get something with less strength it's just at that point you just got to make sure you wear the right protective gear unlike your your lovely host over here who doesn't That's not bad, dude. That, that's that's a pretty good deal. I've never tried a beard brand. I don't think I've tried them. I've heard of them before, but I've never tried them. Uh. Yeah, I mean, okay, like me, I actually started uh I started doing like single flavor stuff and then from there I kind of started working on things. Like uh what, what there was like one that was just like a single flavor cappuccino and it was pretty good. I just don't remember where I got it from. I completely lost the email. But I ended up buying it, it was good. I tore through the through the flavoring bottle and it I mean, it worked out for a bit, and then I tried other things, and a lot of it is just learning what your uh, percentages are. Like, I, whenever I try a new flavor, I actually get a, um, I start off at like a 5%, and then either work my way down if it's too strong, or work my way up, depending on which way. Normally, it just works its way down. I Going up, really, I don't see the point. I don't like overly sweetened juices, though. Like, even like I use... Um, I use erythritol instead of using sucralose, which sucralose is like the easiest one I like get. But this is an erythritol mix that I had to create myself because the only place I know that sells it is um, new nicotine, and I don't like them. <laughs> See what we got in chat here. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can see orange custard. Is weird. Is it like a creamsicle? Uh. Oh, you mean this right here? This is uh my uh Trinity cap for my Rebel. It's I mean it's pretty good. It doesn't get hot. I, like even a buddy of mine thought it would get like ridiculously hot. 
It, I feel like the airflow is a little bit better than even like the, the typical Rebel caps. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm liking it. They, they were having them on sale, so I just picked one up. I always wanted to check out the Trinity caps. Let's see, where was I? All right, now we're moving on to, to the the fat bit yeah i'll i will rec will say this much about the rebel one most of them tend to be like a straight shot down this one kind of like gets a little bulbous right here on the sides let's see if it'll focus but you see how like, there's like a bevel right here so it gets a little bit wider if you stick if your rebels are on a mech it will look very uh penis like for lack of a better term Like I was going to actually put it on the right now I have my uh, reverie on top of my DS, but I was actually I normally have a rebel on this one and I was going to actually use it with that rebel, but it just yeah, the overhang is just ridiculous. It sticks out quite a bit. So if you're going to get one of those, I wouldn't recommend it for certain things. Just make sure it's something that will sit flush unless the, the overhang doesn't bother you. That's just an aesthetic thing for me. Yeah, I use the Ultim Ring too. It, it's helpful. I tend to like, I'm really bad when it comes to dripping. <laughs> no penis mods. Yeah, like I'm terrible at over dripping when it comes to like dripping juices. Half of the time I just paint my coils because I, I over drip almost every atomizer i own and then i always have a mess on my hands or something like that hello mr coil image i have not installed your coils yet because i was gonna do this and then do that after i finish up with this kind of thing Yeah, like at the moment, I'm actually wanting to do a review for the Reverie. And I was going to do it this week, but then I I was reminded that I have to try it as a squonk just to have a full rounded opinion. So that will wait a little bit longer. Yeah, like I get you, user, like um, like even like the dead rabbit, which you know it, it has a nice claim of you can't over drip it because it's got such a deep well because the top cap is the well. I've managed to flood the shit out of that thing to where it's spilling everywhere. Yeah, I, I like the reverie. I think it's a very acquired taste. I'm noticing that. Um. Uh, like, I'm liking mine. I'm not going to lie. I'm really digging it. I think it's got great flavor. Uh, I don't. I really don't know. I Okay, like the Lucid, I didn't think I would like it, but I like it. It's a really good atomizer, really good flavor. I think Stan did a great job with that one. And then the Reverie, it's like a whole another thing. You can't really compare the two because they are... They are vertical coil atomizers, but they're different in so many like levels. Because I mean, even the way the airflow hits this thing and how it is in in the barrel, it's like a very direct airflow type of thing. Like I have the thing full wide open at a 0.18, and normally I'm running this on my other Dreamer Mac, and this is just a uh, what's up swag and uh. Yeah, right now I have it on my DS, which is a dual parallel, so it it gets all all crackly and such things. And then I have it on my Dreamer with a 
30T, and that actually gets really good. It's a very enjoyable vape, but I don't know. Like I said, it, I really feel like the, the Reverie is a very subjective kind of thing. Either you like it or you don't. Yeah, I can see that. Hold on. Give me a minute here. Hello. Hey, buddy. What's up, buddy? Hey. I'm over here uh, what you, what trying, you to, doing? trying to mix. Wow. Ah. So, yeah, and then just right. chatting it up with the peoples over here. I was like, I could mix and watch scrubs like I normally do, or I could hang out with these lovely folks right here. Oh, yeah. You know? The lovely folks are better. Yeah, pretty much. I, I've watched Scrubs enough to where I don't really have to pay attention anymore, so <laughs> it doesn't make yeah. a difference in my life. So how are you doing? So I, I'm doing great. I had a semi, semi-productive day. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. The the training course today uh, at work really screwed up my uh, schedule. Yeah, because because it's it's my day off. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, man. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Yeah, I'm keeping up with chat over here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So what are you mixing? Uh, well, this one was a bottle of uh, Blue Sin. And it is going to our good friend, MN316. We were talking the other day, and then he like went on my site and placed an order. And then he's like, there you go, dude. I'm like, OK, cool. I'll get you when I can. Are those the, the new bottles? Uh, no, these are still the gorillas. I haven't gone around to getting the new bottles, man. Like, I'll be honest. Like, I have the ones that I'm using, but I seriously have that many gorilla. Oh bottles. yeah, yeah. Uh, at the moment, I don't have a need for them, but when I do, I'm really gonna get into those. Uh, getting those, what you call it, the the Wolfgang the bottles. Oh yeah, the, the ones that Mark has gotten. Yeah, the Gen Two. Yes, I want. I really want to try those out, man. Because I got last year at Expo, I saw their booth, but they didn't have a representative there, and I really wanted to talk to them about the bottles and see what I can do about getting my hands on them. And then I've just been like looking at them, thinking about it, looking at them, and I just need to pull the trigger on that one. Ugh, I'm still waking up, dude. Oh, uh, you just woke up. Uh, I woke up at noon, but I've been having like a hard time just getting in that I'm awake mindset. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I guess that, that's why I wanted to do this. It'd be a lot more uh, interactive. That way I don't just fall asleep here. <laughs> yeah, probably. You're probably right. Yeah. So what you vaping on today? I... To tell you the truth, I really missed this mod. I know it looks ugly, but what is that? The Aegis? This is the this is the Aegis Legend. Oh, okay. With the with the reload X. Okay. And you know me, I I don't go anywhere without this. This is satisfying. And I know. This is a wrong term, but I'm jeweling. You're jeweling? Yeah. <laughs> God, that's so bad. Uh, you can't get these hats anymore, Overdrip. Uh, yeah, I want, uh, it's in November, actually, the uh, San Antonio Expo. And uh, we really want to go, like me and my wife. I, I know Stan, I think I've talked to him. He said he's... It's a for sure, but I don't know if that's a for sure, for sure. And but I am wanting to see if I can go to the go to the expo in San Antonio because I would love to do that again. 
Cool. 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 Yeah. I'm going to see if I can make it. I know a lot of us are talking about Foxwoods next year, which that would be another fun one. Take a trip out. Oh, there. dude, I can't, I can't wait. I know you're going. I, I'm going to make it my mission to go. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you got time so you can make uh, travel plans and all that. And then what, when are you in Japan? Uh, I booked my flight on the 25th of October. All right, cool, man. You're, hopefully yeah, you have some, some good fun. I know you, you were talking about some of the, the stuff you're doing out there. Oh, yeah. Dude, I, I, I even made a list. And this is the first for me. You got your itinerary? Oh, yeah. I made a list of the things that I need to do, the things that I need to try out. Are you still going to the UK? No. No. Okay. I thought you were still going. Yeah. The, the UK trip didn't happen because I work shifts and yeah. we got a lot of married people who travel in, in the summer vacation because they take their kids there. Yeah. They go on holiday and all that kind of shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I mean, I understand that. That's sorry, bro. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. Uh, at least I, I won't be spending money. I can save money for, for my trip to Japan. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's a good trade off. It's like uh, everybody's talking about ECC here in a couple of weeks, and like I can't go. I don't have the money for that trip. Yeah, you were talking about San, San Antonio. Uh, how mm -hmm. far is it from, from your location? Uh, it's about like four hours, roughly. Uh, if my wife drives three, mm -hmm. so she she's she's a lead foot. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, like yeah, we were thinking of like making a day trip, just like drive out there in the morning, hang out all day. Because I mean, most of those expos don't open until like ten or something like that, anyways. And uh, then drive back that night. That way, you know, because getting a hotel and all that kind of gets a little bit more expensive than we care to think. Yeah, but, but you, you have to try uh, dr drive early, right? Yeah, yeah, we would have to like leave here like maybe six in the morning or something like that. Have they released uh, the the show when it starts, when it's in, as in the times? Yeah, here, let me look it up. Uno momento. Then, like, we got Michelle Lynn vaping minor. Uh, What's up, Herb, minor? Herb Williams, Train Sonic. Yeah, there you go. It's at the Mohegan Sun now. So I don't even know what they're. What are they calling the that expo now? Since it's at Mohegan Sun. NVE. Is it just NVE now? Yeah, National Vape Expo. Yeah. All right. Vape Dynasty. What's up, Dan? Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> yes, keeping your wallet in your pocket. Dude, I didn't ditch you. Who did you ditch? Oh, Swaggins. Swaggins says I ditched him for the warm <laughs> sock. Oh, that's funny. Oh, uh, Overdrip says I just want to thank Overdrip for being in the chat. Well, thank you, Overdrip. Uber trip. Yeah, see, the expo starts at 10. It goes from 10 to 5.30, so. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. I mean, like, most, that's the thing, like, most vape expos are on, like, an all-day thing, kind of like, uh, have you ever been to, like, either, like, a Comic-Con or an anime con? Yeah. Con? Yeah. And you know how those are, like, all day and shit? Like, if you're going to go, be prepared for a long-ass day. 
But yeah, since since yeah, since you're driving there, you make the whole day of it. Oh no, yeah, we are. And I mean, my wife likes San Antonio, so we are going to take advantage of it a little bit, like go hang out at the river walk or something. So, what what are you vaping on? What am I vaping on? Can, I can see the the bottle juice. I have. I'm still on that uh, grindhouse from last night. I got that grindhouse mm -hmm. americano. It's a good coffee, dude. I do recommend it. Then I got my own Tyson's. This is this one like experimental one I'm working on at the moment that I might add to the site at some point. I got that Nilly. I moved it from the glass bottle. I can't do glass stripper bottles, dude. Oh, dude, I love gl glass stripper bottles. I they they just become a hindrance, especially when you know you're at work and you don't want glass to shatter everywhere. And uh, got that blue sin going. And I got what my Rebel Trinity Cap Hexome DS Reverie. Yeah, I, I we we stick to a two minimum or maximum on the show on Mondays because if not yeah. we would be here all day. I got the OG Rebel Hexome Predator OG Goon and Ellie Lucid Dreamer. Oh look at that. Yeah. And I know all of us vape on a lot of shit all at one time. <laughs> Dude I can't show you the amount amount of vape gear that I have here. Yeah, no, I don't. Dude, I try to keep mine to a, like five, but there are some days where I'm like running around with like eight different setups, like wherever I'm sitting at in this apartment. Yeah, but but you know what my problem is? I only run two juices, so I have 16,000 setups with two juices in them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, uh, that's a problem right there. Oh, man. Yeah, like I have so much stuff steeping in my in my steeping drawer and uh you know and those some of them are some of those are like future videos others are just things that were made for me personally yeah si since you're mixing mm -hmm. uh, can you tell the guys here in, in, in the chat what flavors can you vape after you mix them and what flavors are preferred to be to steep after uh, you mix them well okay like your fruits those are all shaken vapes it doesn't really matter you could seriously mix up any fruit uh diy juice and start vaping it right away if you want to let it steep that's up to you personally like i do like to let them steep because they like the flavors become more more potent and more apparent uh but then like anything cream based like your desserts, uh, ice creams, mm -hmm. things like that. You gotta let those sit around for a while because they all smell and taste like fucking nasty. Like uh, in my earlier videos, there is a video where I like do kind of like a like a sniff test of some of the flavorings I got in, and I can't remember what flavoring it was because I would have to rewatch the video. But I seriously almost like I backed up from it really hard. And the part you can't see is that I'm almost like I'm trying not to vomit the whole time because it's a hard oh. smell. <laughs> like some of like a lot of the cream flavorings have a really, really harsh smell. They are not pleasant whatsoever. They just get pleasant with time. You know what I mean? Wait, who's keeping their wallet in their pants? Me? I, I, my wallet is put away somewhere. Yes, it's put away somewhere. Overdrip is omnipresent. Yes, Olivia. He is very omnipresent. He is everywhere and he is nowhere. But he's mostly in Canada.
He's cool uncle. He's uncle. Over tripping. Yeah. He's uncle Chris. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know who he was talking to about the whole wallet thing. I was like, okay, sure. That's a thing. You keep your wallet. He's like, what is that commercial? Do you know what's in your wallet? No. No? You don't know what's in your wallet? No. Because I don't... I think it's it's a, a U.S. thing. Not the oh, whole world. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, it's for uh, Capital One Banking. And that's, um, what's his name? Samuel Jackson. And that's how, like, their tagline is, is, uh, do you know what's in your wallet? I thought you watched a lot of American television. Yeah, but I don't watch commercials. Why not? Dude, that's why I, I switched from cable to streaming. So oh, I, I want, yeah, so I want to watch any commercials. What's funny is I stream mostly because I think cable's too expensive. You know what I mean? Okay, so you have uh, you have Netflix, right? Yes, sir. Okay. How much do you pay for it? Uh, I think we're at the $10 tier. $10 a month is... is Pretty much cheap. How much do you pay per month if you have cable? Uh, shit. I think like my folks have the very basic package, and they pay about a hundred and twenty. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's like internet included, but still, dude, that's just very ridiculous in my book. Yeah. Uh... I, I know a lot of guys that only have cable so they can watch sports. Yeah. Same here. So you can't for that. Cuz I mean So okay. you can't You could get so like So you can't stream the uh, sports? Uh you can, but it's just as expensive cuz like uh I used to do the NHL package. Mhm. Mm and fuck, what was the last time I got that? They used to be like during the season. It was um, it was running me about three dollars a quarter within the season, so like you'd have to break up whatever, however long their season is that I can't remember right now off the top of my head. I know it's from like October till April, but yeah, you would break that up into like several payments of thirty bucks. And after a while, that adds, that adds the hell up, dude. And you could do the same for NHL or NFL, MLB, NBA. But, it, like, I know MLB, since their season's so ridiculously long, it's really stupid expensive. Because baseball, seriously, it's, you know, you pay for so many games to watch. And yeah, it's, it, I don't know if you, if you have BN Sports, but in, in the Middle East, we have BN Sports. Uh, it's... Five hundred dollars for the whole season, and that includes, uh, as in soccer, uh, Fox Sports, ESPN, mm -hmm. uh, the whole uh, tennis tournament tournaments, everything that is happening through the season. Mm -hmm. You'll you'll get that. Plus the the movies channel, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, basically five hundred dollars for a, a year's subscription. Now, what is it? Herb Williams is saying, get an Android box, subscribe to the Players Club for five bucks a month. Uh, you get was it DL Terrarium and pay for Netflix four K, twenty bucks a month, and you'll have everything you need. Good advice. I have to look into it. Yeah, I I got the Android TV box. Yeah, but I only run it if I uh, if I'm I'm watching it through the TV. 
mm-hmm. but I'm I'm like eight to ten hours on my computer. Yeah. Yeah, you use your computer a lot more. Yeah. Like I mean, my PlayStation kind of stays on mostly for watching stuff on. I don't even really game a whole lot because I ain't got time for that. Do you use your PS controller for everything, or do you use the app? The PS controller. Um, I have the app on my phone, but I forget it exists. You know. Yeah, that's that's what I used to do when I when I was running the the Apple TV box. Mm-hmm. The Apple TV, uh, dude. I'll forget. The, uh, I only use the uh, the the remote for uh, pause and play. Mm-hmm. But everything, I'll I'll tap uh, type everything through through the app. Yeah. Oh yeah, same here. Like uh, every once in a while, like my brother and some of the other people I game with, uh, I will use like the Messenger app to get a hold of them. Especially when I'm not home, but other than that, I just use the PlayStation itself for everything. Sometimes I feel like the apps are a little more fiddly than I need, you know? Yeah, uh, to tell you the truth, the the, the new PS uh, PlayStation uh, app, they made it a little bit more complicated. Mm-hmm, that's what I mean. It's just everything... It's more, more, uh, more shit you got to deal with than needed. Overdrip says I only use, I just, I just use my VHS. You guys are all too high tech for me. <laughs> See, I, I would have believed him if he said Betamax. Oh, dude, Betamax is even older than me. I know, dude. It's, it's older than both of us to a point. Have you watched the, the video that went viral on Facebook? Which one? They, they basically gave uh, some 10-year-olds or... Oh, yeah, the... That- the- the vape or whatever i didn't watch the video i just saw like a headline thing of it i didn't i don't know i just like feel like a lot of it is just uh, clickbait sometimes but so what happened in the video no no i'm talking about the video that they gave the the little kids uh, the old cassette tapes oh yeah okay yeah the kids react yeah yeah it's i've seen those those are hilarious uh, yeah, they couldn't, what, figure, they couldn't figure where it goes. They're like, where is, why won't it go in there? And then they couldn't figure out how to turn the damn thing on. When I watched it, I felt so old. Wait till you have kids and you'll feel really old. They remind you of it every fucking day. Like, uh, I, I, I don't know if I told you guys this story, but... Uh, a couple of years ago, I found my old VHS tapes at my parents' house, and they still have a VHS player. And, you know, Be Kind Rewind is a real thing. And, mm-hmm. guess, and guess who wasn't kind to himself? So, Blockbuster. <laughs> no, me. <laughs> I, I, didn't get, I didn't rewind any of those tapes as a youngin', so they were all still at the very end of the movie. And... I was like, you want to watch an old school version of The Lion King? And my daughter's like, sure, let's watch it. And I'm like, all right. So I had to rewind the tape. So we're sitting there, and I forgot how long that used to take. Dude, holy crap. This yeah. Take forever. Exactly. And uh, Dude, my daughter's all like, you, what... why don't you just start it? Why don't you just start it? I'm like, we have to wait till the tape finishes rewinding. Dude, when you get used to the back click play that kind of stuff menus oh, oh. Yeah. and see and that's like one of those things like my kids are 13 and 8 they don't know any of that shit like for Dude, them, they, they've always had like dvd players and streaming and all that shit so they, they don't know the troubles we had th- back then that's that's the same thing when uh when i first got my first dvd mm-hmm 
because I didn't know how to work the menu. I'm, I'm, I was used to alt the VHS, just click play. Yeah. And the damn thing starts playing and you just got to sit through the trailers and all that kind of thing. Yep. You know, I hate nowadays on the Blu-ray, they make you sit through the trailers. You can't skip them. And that's why I stream. I know. It's just like there are some movies that they don't have on any streaming services. Well, Cody is your friend. I, like at my parents' house, I really can't be doing any shady streaming because they have gotten a cease and desist letter from the government. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know what my brother was doing or what he was getting into, but they did get a letter a couple of years ago. And he's like, hey, don't do not do any streaming here anymore. And he showed me the letter. I was like, holy shit, what were you doing, dude? Oh, thank God we don't have it here in Kuwait. Right. This is Because kinda... prob- yeah, probably I'll, I'll be locked up. <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Clownet says, Bestie. Hey, Bestie. Laser disc for the win. <laughs> laser disc. Uh, I've never actually had a laser disc player, but I heard those, the discs for that were ridiculously huge. Overdrip, are you, are you talking about the the old CDs that you have to watch a movie? A single movie will take two CDs. <laughs> oh man, dude! I remember a time that I used to burn cds for my friends oh, I, I would you. it took me if i made if i made an audio cd not an mp3 an audio yeah yeah it'll take me maybe 40 minutes 40 minutes per disc yeah yeah i don't i don't remember because i don't i never timed it but i know what you're talking about It took forever to get any of those done, and it was just a pain. My headphones are awesome. <laughs> Your headphones have been long on my spaceship. I feel like I should get your setup for headphones instead of doing all of this that I have going on over here. Dude, since since the last last update of uh, on Discord, so this is my main speaker. Yeah. Which is the JBL Bluetooth mm -hmm. thing. Before the last update, I could run both this speaker and my headset if I wanted to to join the voice chat. I just turn my headset on and, and join. Yeah. But the the last update, I don't know what happened, but I think they canceled that feature. Mm -hmm. So I have to shut this thing off and connect my headset just to join the 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 voice chat. What's up, Frank Wolf? Oh, wow. Frank Wolf. What's up, dude? Dude has been rocking that whiskey bottle hard. Oh, yeah. And also the, the drumsticks. Oh, yeah, the drumsticks. <laughs> I haven't been on Discord much, so I barely got to see that a couple days ago. <laughs> oh, man. What is you? By the way, Mrs. Clownette, I still need my sock. I'm waiting for my sock. You just need a sock? 
No. Two for my feet. Meet up with who? I don't know what she's talking about, bro. Me neither. Uh, I did set this up for like an hour, so we got like 10 minutes left. Ah, oh, man. So, are you working tonight, or you, it's your day off? Oh, I'm working tonight, dude. What is that saying? Ain't no rest for the wicked. Wicked. Always working. Always working, dude. I thought you only wrote sand. Wrote sandals. Or no, he, he corrected himself down. What's up, Berserker Ritter? Uh, or send them. No. Dude, you know me. I rock, I rock my Yeezys, my Ultra Boosts. Jordan 1s. Aziz likes a good shoe. Oh, dude. I'm a sneakerhead. I, I like shoes. I'm not. I don't get flip flops or sandals at all. No, I have like house slippers that are Batman ones, but that's about it. What's Dude, up, Dave Satek? What's up, buddy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> she was Clownette, he, yeah he's probably hung over so be he's, nice he's not hung over he's all sugared up on the fucking ice cream cones Dr and drumsticks yeah the drumsticks Oh, look, Swaggins is still on. Did you ever see that, uh, what is it? What the hell is his name? Lionel Richie, Adele mashup where they both do their version of Hello? No, I haven't. That one's hilarious, dude. Because they're, they're basically answering each other with their, like, how their songs go. I'm I'm in steel toes all day. Give me all the sandals. Yeah, man toes. I don't want to look at your hobby feet, bro. <laughs> Do you mean swags? Or is he yeah. really calling them skags? <laughs> I think he meant swaggins. <laughs> oh, that's that's just brilliant. Oh, man. How's everybody in chat doing? And it got kind of quiet all of a sudden. 
Yep. Dan, are you are you texting while while driving? <laughs> that is hilarious. Then get a big phone or or use a tablet. Use a tablet as a phone. What's a cankle toe? <laughs> take the Browns to the Super Bowl. He's like, I got a turtle head pick in it. Oh, man. So, have you ever tried DIYing Aziz? No, I'm too lazy. You're One kidding. of my friends got that, uh, what's it called? The Nightcore uh, mixing thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, thing that has two cool. tablets you put at the bottom. It'll, it'll rotate. Do I litter? In what sense? You litter as these. No. Well, I'm I'm honestly just filling up some orders over here, and I decided to make a live video out of it because content. <laughs> it's like I haven't really had time time to like make videos lately, so. I was like, shoot two birds with one stone kind of thing. You guys in your hashtag would prove. Kitty litter? Oh, man. Sorry I'm not more awake, honestly. Still yeah, sleepy? Yeah, I keep yawning here and there. That's why I slept solid, dude. Hey, oh, my Lanta, you still gotta let me know what you wanted, man. Throwing rappers out the car. I don't know any hip hop artists. Dude, I can't wait to get my hands on that solo movie. I still haven't watched it. Yeah, don't feel bad, neither have I. Oh, like with Star Wars, I love Star Wars. I enjoy watching Star Wars, but I'm just kind of waiting until they all come out so I can just binge watch them. Dude, that's that's what, what I do every time. Every every episode that comes out before I go either to the movies or uh, download it, I'd I'd binge binge watch the only the original trilogy. Yeah. Yeah, uh, not, not, none of that. That one is a fruit basket. It'll be a nice glowy green by the time it's done steeping. Even though you could vape that right away. That's that's actually one I've done where I just mix it and start vaping on it. Bro, 
Ready Player One. I haven't seen that one either. Well, I think, yeah, I think Mar Mark Clough told me to watch Super Troopers 2. Yeah, uh, that's one that I'm going to watch. I like the first one. All right. Well, I don't know. This thing, I don't know if it's going to cut off after a minute. I set it up till 430. So I don't know if it'll just stop on its own or if I got to stop it. The anticipation is real. I know, right? Yeah. I wanted to try out that whole uh, start end feature because I've never done the end part. I just try to stop it myself, but I didn't know if this thing would just cut us off or what it would do. Maybe uh, if someone joins, uh, it, it continues. Maybe. You threw it out the window, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Uh, Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Mm hmm. So sorry. Let's see. Have you watched Deadpool? Which one? Both? Or just the first? Uh, the second one. Yeah, I've seen that one. We went to go see that, I think, like two weeks after it came out. Is it as good as the first one? Uh, yeah, I think it was. Uh, I don't know. It's one of those things, like, I, in my personal opinion, I think it was a tad bit better because you didn't have to deal with so much character development. It just kind of, like, it, it went from where it left off on the last one. Because to tell you the truth, I was uh, fairly disappointed with the Avengers Infinity War. Uh, see, that one wasn't was one of the, I just think that a Marvel movies have gotten a little to the, they're still good. I'm not going to say they're not, but they've gotten to that point of they're getting a little predictable. They've done so many of them that you kind of know what to expect out of a, a Marvel movie. Yeah, that's that's what I've noticed. Marvel uh, movies are good, mm -hmm. but the TV shows are eh, yeah. questionable. Yeah, the TV shows. I think like a buddy of mine only likes watching Luke Cage. Like one of my coworkers, he's you know he's, he's all like that's the only Marvel show I'm willing to watch. I tried Shield; it was not really something I cared for at any capacity. Uh, what was that other one? Punisher. Uh, I still I haven't watched that. Jessica Jones. Yeah, me and the wife started watching that, but it wasn't something where we're like so into it that we just kept watching it. You know what I mean? Mm, Iron Fist. No, I haven't watched that either. Well, uh, Stan uh, says Daredevil is good. Yeah, I think I heard him the other day. So he's like, are we still watching Daredevil? To his wife, uh, we were in voice chat. And if you guys want to know about this voice chat we keep talking about, and you're not part of the Vape Stew crew, Go over there, then you'll find the link to the Discord server. And yeah, journey, join and you can, the you can to with us. Facebook group. And you can join the <clears throat> Vapes to Discord group. Yeah. All of the shenanigans. Shenanigans. Now, now I want to watch Super Troopers. I think they still have Beer Fest on Netflix. Oh. Let's check and see Netflix. Mm. 
Yep. It's there. I don't know if it's, it's there in the U.S., but it's here in Kuwait. Yeah. All right, man. I think I'm going to call it, and maybe we could go hang out at a disco yeah. group or something. Don't go to sleep. Nah. I, well, I can't, man. Uh, I know my wife is getting home soon. We're going to eat some dinner and hang out till I go to work. Okay, buddy. All right. So I'll see you at the Discord group. Uh, thanks, everybody, for joining. And that was that was fun. Yep. Got to talk about some stuff here and there. Mm-hmm. All righty. Exactly. So, uh, we'll catch you guys next Monday. Vaping with the Omis, 7 p.m. CST. Maybe as easy. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to make it my mission. Right. See you later. Later.